we're going to do a basic route summarization demonstration in Packet Tracer based on the lab 6.4.4 of the Cisco curriculum routing protocols curriculum so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with an 1841 router and I'm going to drag it out here we're also going to grab another 1841 router and drag it over here okay and then I'll grab a third 1841 router drag it over here and a fourth one and drag it over here so we'll start off with that and then once all of these start up I'm going to change the names and we're going to add some interfaces so I think this one started up by now so I'm going to select it go to config and change the name of this to R1 alright this will be R2 in the display name so R1 R2 this one will be R3 and this one will be R4 okay so we've got our four routers right there now this one right here if we're gonna follow the packet tracer from uh, chapter 6.4.4 basic route summarization needs two Ethernet NICs and two serial and uh, three serial NICs so we're gonna select it we'll go to physical we will turn it off right and hopefully we have room to add our NICs right now we have Ethernet NICs but what we need is WIC 2T's smart serial so we're gonna drag this and pop that sucker in there and then we'll drag another one and pop that one in over here right and now we should have four serial interfaces and um, and two ethernets so we'll turn our router on now and then we'll examine our interfaces All right we've got it on it's starting up eventually we can go to config here and you'll see now in this config fast ethernet 0, 0, 0, 0001 then we've got serial 0, 0, 0 and then we've got we've got four serial interfaces to work with okay so we added WIC 2T's uh, the two port asynchronous synchronous serial network modules two we just dragged them right in and then turned it on so now this router has the necessary requirements now this router over here has two Ethernet um, NICs built in but it also needs at least one serial interface so what we'll do is click on this one go to physical shut it off drag in a WIC 2T or just select WIC 2T and then drag it in from this picture which we just did right and then fire it up so now it should have two Ethernet interfaces and two serial interfaces alright it's starting up we should probably click on it now oh it's still booting up and now you can see it has two Ethernet and two serial interfaces so this one's ready to go and it's turned on so right now we'll just deal with these two routers right here I'll pull these over to the side we're not dealing with them R1 and R2 okay okay now to set this up once again I'm following the Cisco 6.4.4 curriculum here what we need to do is we're gonna set up two networks up here and so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab two 2960 switches I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna put one here here okay switch one and switch two let's say all right we're gonna connect these so I'll go to the um, cabling and I'll get um, router to switch Ethernet on the router to switch is a straight through cable so I'll grab a straight through cable and I'll go to fast Ethernet 00, zero and then over to the first port the first Ethernet port on the switch and then I'll do the same thing here fast Ethernet 01 over to the switch all right, so we got those connected. All right. All right, now that looks good. Um, now what we want to do, now for the serial interface, we'll have R1 be the clock. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go to the cabling and I'm going to scroll over and I'm going to look for the uh, serial DCE port, right? And I'll grab that and I'm going to put that on the first serial interface here, serial 000. zero, zero and I'm going to scroll down here and then put it on the first serial interface of this one right so this one's the clock 
and this one is is not. So this guy's playing the role of the DCE, and this router's playing the role of the DTE. All right, just fair enough. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to address out just this part first to make things easier. All right, and we can see right off the bat. Well, and I'll, I'm going to label everything out too. So he, I'm going to label out the networks so that we know which networks we're working with right now. I'll grab this one. And so for this network between these two routers, we're going to create 173.16.71.4 slash 30. So that's the network that we're going to use to go in between these two routers. Now, I've changed the addressing slightly from the packet tracer 6.4.4 in the Cisco curriculum just to protect the innocent. But it basically follows along quite closely. So now what we can do is we could just put these addresses on these interfaces. And we could do that really quickly. Now, R1 will get the first usable address and R2 will get the second usable. And by the way, with this type of, of network address, right, this is a classless address because it's slash 30, right, slash 30, meaning the network is 4, the first usable host is 5, the second usable host is 6, and the broadcast address is going to be 7, so 4, 5, 6, and 7, and the next network would be dot 8, right? So we're going to set this I, this interface's IP address to 173.16.71.5 slash 30, serial 000. So let's do that really quickly. We'll go in here, command line interface, hit enter, type enable, type conf t for configure terminal, type interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0, IP address. What was the address we were going to do? Okay, here it is, 173.16.71.5 with a 255.255.255.252 if it's slash 30. We'll hit enter. We have to give it a clock rate because it's the DCE. It's got the clock, 64,000. And then we'll type no shutdown. Okay, now it's up. Now, even though it's up, it's still red because this interface on this router has to go up. So we're going to do that one really quickly. We'll click on this router, go to command line interface, enter, enable, conf t, which is short for configure terminal, int, which is short for interface, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. All right, that's beautiful. IP address 173.16.71.6. Okay, and then our subnet mask. All right, no shut, which is short for no shutdown, and hit enter. And now you can see that our interfaces are up here. The first usable host is on R1. The second usable host is on R2. We've set up this network. OK, our next two networks that we have to lay out are these two networks here coming off of the router to these switches. There's no hosts really attached, but that's fine. Well, I'm going to label it 173.16.71.5. Slash 23. Okay. Once again, non classful network, right? Subnet. And then we're going to do that again. And 173.16.66.0 slash 23. Okay. So since these are slash 23s, they're going to be 512 hosts. So the hosts will go from 
64.1, 64.2, all the way up to 255, then 65.0, 65.1.2, all the way up to 65.255, which will be the broadcast address, and then the next network is the 66 network. And this will go all the way up to 67. Dot 255, which will be the broadcast address. Why? These are slash 23, right? 512 hosts. The magic number on this network is 2, so the networks go up by 2. From 64, the next network would be 66.